Hey there, this is René for GNS Trivolt, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the NAT TCP load balancing lab. So you're probably familiar with network address translation, but what you maybe do not know yet is that you can also use it for load balancing. And if you look at this topology that I have over here, on the left side you can see uh, three devices, they are called www. I'm going to run HTTP on them. Uh, that's the inside of my network, and the outside, that's the device on the right side, the host that you can see. And in the middle there's a router called NAT that will do the network address translation. Now the idea behind load balancing is that whenever the host tries to connect to port 80 on a certain IP address within the 192.168.45 range, then router not should load balance it uh, among www1, 2 and 3. So that's what you can do with t uh, net TCP load balancing. Now let me show you how to do this. Um, first of all, um, I created a couple of static routes uh, on all of the devices pointing to the router that will do network address translation. So we do not have to worry about routing in this uh, lab. And the first step I'm going to do is make sure that HTTP is enabled on all of the www devices. So IP HTTP server. That's easy enough. Just copy and paste it. There we go. And the second step, that's our network address translation configuration. So what I want to do is whenever I connect to IP address 45.100 port 80, it should be load balanced among the web servers. So let me show you how to do this. So of course I need to use router net for this. And the first thing is that I'm going to type the correct IP not inside and outside commands. So this should be the inside. Um, the next step is to create a pool, IPNet pool, and I'll give it a name, I'll call it rotate. Prefix length 24, that's the subnet mask. And then you can set the type. And of course this is what I want to do, rotary. That means that it will load balance. Then we need to configure the IP addresses. And these are the IP addresses of the, the web servers on the left side. So that's 192, 168, 123.12 and 3. So 101 up to 3. So these are the IP addresses where I want to load balance to. Exit, that's all that we have to do for the pool. Uh, the next step, IP net inside. And now we are going to do destination based load balancing list. And here I have to refer to an access list. And I didn't create this access list before, so let me do it right now. IP access list extended. And I'll call it balance for load balance. Well, let's just call it load balance. And what I'll do is say permit TCP, and I do not care about the source. Heading to destination host 45.100 port 80. So this is the IP address I want to connect to on port 80, and then it should be load balanced um, to the pool of web servers that I have. So let's put it all together with the IP not inside command, inside, destination, list. I have to refer to the access list that I just created. And then I have to refer to the pool that I just created. And the pool was called rotate. And that's it. So let me show you the configuration one more time. So of course make sure you don't forget about the correct IP net inside and outside commands. This is my pool. So these are the devices where I want to load balance to. So 
um, these are the, the free uh, web servers that I have. And here is the access list with the IP address where I want to connect uh, to. And then this command over here will pull everything together. Inside, destination, list. So whenever you connect to this IP address, port 80, it should load balance it to the servers with the IP addresses over here. So this should work. So let's just give it a try. So on the host device, what I'll do is I'll connect to 45.100, port 80. It says trying, so let's see if it is going to work or not. And it's not working yet. Let's do a show IP net translations. No luck yet, so let me check my config. IP net inside, outside is okay. Pool should be okay. The access list should be okay. Uh, let me see if I can ping the devices. And yes, I can reach them. So that's not the issue. I think there's one thing that I forgot, and that's IP alias. Um, 45.100. You have probably to create an alias for this IP address, port 80. Because right now there's no way, uh, let me put it this way, this router.net is not responding to this IP address over here. So IP alias, and I think that'll do the job. So let's try it. Okay, so now you can see it says open, which means that I can connect to it. So do not forget this command over here, IP alias. Uh, show IP net translations. Now you can see that this address over here, 45.100, port 80, has been translated uh, and, and it connects to 123.1 so that's the first web server and if I try to connect again you can see it says open again so it does connect you can see that it now connects to dot 2 so it's being load balanced and we can try the third time and you can see it now connects to dot 3 now let me connect one more time and now you can see there is an additional entry again for dot one. So it's being round robin load balanced. Dot one, dot two, dot three, and then it starts over at dot one again. And I think we can also check it at, from the web servers. If I do show IP HTTP server statistics, maybe. Here you go. You can see it says accepted connect connections total of two. And if I do this on this device you can see it has an accepted connection of one and we should see one over here accepted connection one so you can see that it's working you can verify it by looking at the HTTP servers or you can do a show IP net translations and you will see the translation over here so that's it this is how you can configure network address translation TCP load balancing um, I hope you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching, until next time.